what could be the probable diagnosis okay so here we have a young adult or maybe a child this looks like a mixed dentition phase because the mammalons are prominent okay secondly we see lesions on the lower lip now what are these lesions they are hyperplastic lesions these hyperplastic lesions have a discrete border okay can you see each lesion is discrete it's same as the color of gingiva and we can see a smooth surface so these are some findings that we can correlate from the image okay now based on this appearance we need to identify the condition now the options are verruca vulgaris papilloma focal epithelial hyperplasia and molluscum contagiosum now let's look at the options one by one so what is verruca vulgaris verruca vulgaris is nothing but it affects the skin and the oral mucosa here there are painless papules or nodules so you will see papule or nodule and apart from that there are papillary projection there is pebbled surface and these lesions can be pink yellow or white oral lesions are usually white and there is proliferation of hyperkeratotic epithelium there is hyperkeratinization in these areas and there is uh, chronic infl inflammatory infiltrate there is crusting elongated reticulum so there is basically a whitish appearance with finger like pointed projections in verruca vulgaris so here we don't see any of that therefore verruca vulgaris is eliminated from the uh, options next is papilloma now papilloma is something that is caused by human papilloma virus it has a warty appearance or it is hyperplastic in nature firstly hyperplastic and there is a uh, you know immense epithelialization and connective tissue proliferation it looks like a papilloma a papilloma looks like uh, you know these finger like what like projections so here we don't see any of that here the uh, lesions are more discrete rounded and smooth and like a papilloma so we can eliminate papilloma as well now coming to focal epithelial hyperplasia here the lesions are discrete and demarcated discrete and demarcated lesions okay and they are closely clustered together so these criteria are met by this image so we will keep this on hold we will look at the fourth option that is molluscum contagiosum these are pink lesions sessile that means there is no peduncle there is no stalk non hemorrhagic papules which are 2 to 4 mm in diameter and there is a central indentation or a keratin like plug formation in molluscum contagiosum keratin plug formation is seen so the lesion here does not show anything with keratin it looks pinkish smooth throughout so we will eliminate this option that leaves us with focal epithelial hyperplasia now let's have a look at what this lesion is so multifocal epithelial hyperplasia also known as hex disease or multifocal papilloma virus epithelial hyperplasia or focal epithelial hyperplasia is caused by human papilloma virus type 13 and 32 okay usually children are affected so that shows the image okay children are affected condition often affects multiple members of a given family there is familial tendency because there is a lot of susceptibility of transmission people staying together can cross contaminate and the virus can go to other individuals so there is hpv transmission between family members okay now the clinical features are very common very uh, striking the primary age group is children and then in young and middle aged adults there is no gender predilection the site of common involvement is labial buccal and lingual mucosa and gingiva may also be involved but commonest is labial and the lingual mucosa here also in the image it is seen on the lower lip okay on the labial mucosa individual lesions are broad based and slightly elevated they appear like demarcated plaques and they may frequently be papillary in nature but relatively smooth surfaced 
flat top lesions are more commonly seen in the image that we saw these all these features are positive papules and plaques are usually the color of normal mucosa they may be pale or rarely white there is no hyperkeratinization like the other options hyperplastic lesions are 0.1 to 0.3 to 1 uh, cm in diameter discrete okay individually can be seen well demarcated frequently cluster so closely that they resemble cobblestone appearance now this is just a schematic image of how cobblestone looks so as you can see there are discrete areas which cluster together and are flat in the same way these lesions they look like cobblestone appearance or fissured appearance so these are hallmark findings of focal epithelial hyperplasia